Hey, what's up, guys? It's Da Vinci. Today I'm back with a beat breakdown. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I produce doves for Mavi. So, first off, this is one of my favorite beats I made that got used by someone. Uh, shout out to Mavi, big time for using this beat. Um, just a beautiful song, man. It's uh, one of my favorite songs I've produced so far. So, yeah, let's dive into how I made the beat. Alright guys, so the first thing you guys are going to notice is that I actually made this beat in Ableton. Um, there's a lot of different stuff going on in here. It's kind of a big file. Well, not really, but um, yeah. So I'm going to start going through it. So first off, um, I freaking start out with these drums right here. Uh, and there's a lot going on in here. Um, not really a lot, but there's a lot of drum layers. So... Um, so first off, um, okay, so I think I started with this kick right here. Super simple kick pattern, and then I layered it with this snare. And that had kind of a bounce. And then what I did is I layered it with this um, drill bed shaking type sound. You guys know the sound, like that. But yeah, I kind of gave it a cool little bounce. And from there, I threw in this water drop. I layered it with a snap. Hey. Wait, I don't think I used a snap in the, okay, yeah. I don't think I used a snap in the final beat. So I guess I did not use the snap. But yeah, um, and then I guess I used a shaker in here too. Little shaker right there. Um, and then I also layered it with this little water sound right here, which is super cool. Um, but yeah, just want to get that out of the way. So those are the drums, basically. Um, and I put a little wind chime in here too. Um, and how I mixed the drums is that I didn't really do anything to the sounds individually, but I put all the drums. Uh, eh, I grouped all the drums in a bus and I put a decapitator on it and just kind of turned up the drop a little bit. So without it, it sounds like this. Still sounds good without it, but with it, it on, it kind of gives like that like a little bit of like a like a bump to it. So yeah, um, those are the drums, man. And uh, now we're gonna get to the melody. So I'm gonna first, I'm gonna just play you guys a melody first, so you guys can hear it. Um, so yeah. So beautiful. So. Um, First, I guess let's start out with the um, the roads right here. So I used a um, stage 73 uh, roads out of the Alteria bundle. I just used the stage dark preset. I love this preset so much. Put some RC20 on it to kind of give it like that like vintagey feel. Um, here's the chords. I believe the chords I was playing were like, let's see, I was like, uh, I think I was like, I forget what I was playing, I was playing like, I forget, I think I was playing like C minor, let me see, so, let me see the chords, I was like, I think I was like, I forget what I played, but yeah, so these are the chords right here. Um, I was going to like major to minor to like major, I don't know, something like that. So that repeats again right here for another um, two bars at the end. I have this little ending part. Kind of like a two, five, one at the end to kind of like resolve it. And I've never really done a chord progression like that before, but like it was kind of, this is like the first time I was playing these chords, but I think I was messing around for like 20 minutes just playing random chords and I came up with this. And it sounded really dope. So it was just a super dope vibe for the chords, man. Um, next, we got bass guitar. And the bass I use is out of contact. It's a Scarby Rickenbacker bass, dub bass sound. I always use this bass guitar. But that with the Rhodes sounds super dope. So next, I think I played saxophone so yeah I, so on this beat i played the keys i played the sax i played saxophone i played guitar too um i, I played my synth on it as well so there's a lot of different parts to it um so yeah this this is the sax i played on it um 
And I just recorded the saxophone into my mic. Okay, so I have a little different layer right here. Dope, dope, dope. So that's the sax. Uh, I had the sax running through a R compressor and through waves, a vintage, uh, uh, yeah, Valhalla, Valhalla vintage verb for some reverb, and then the SSL each EQ to kind of like just like put a little EQ on it to boost like some of the mids, I think. Uh, yeah, so next I, I had a synth. I have an MS-20 synth right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, I got an MS-20 synth and I was kind of playing like a little lead along to it. Um, mm, super simple, just like one note, kind of like going like up and down. But right here, I kind of switched it up a little bit. Okay, yeah, that's dope. Okay, so now we get to the guitar. So right here, I was kind of playing like fifths, like, and I was sliding my guitar. It's kind of hard to explain, but I, I had my finger on like the bottom two, fr like uh, frets, I think. No, the bottom two strings, and I was just doing little slides. So I would hit them both at once, like. I was kind of doing that. I, I know that probably was like really weird to see or whatever, but um, yeah, so that's kind of how I did that guitar right there. Pretty dope, pretty dope. Sounds super cool. Uh, and then I layered it with this little string sound. And now all together, we got the synth, the guitar, the strings, the saxophone, the bass, the Rhodes. We got a pretty cool melody going right here, right? Just the um, Rhodes bass string and guitar. I mean, not guitar, saxophone. Okay, so this is the cool part right here. So, so right here, this is kind of like when I was making the beat. This is supposed to be like kind of like the verse section or where the verse would begin. So. Um, Everything's pretty much the same here. I think the only thing I did different here was I played a new guitar melody right here. And I also took the chords from the roads and threw them in a waves table. Uh, I put a, uh, did I put a page? No, I didn't. So what I did to make it have like this cool little like wobbly sound. So I just put them in like a basic Ableton uh, waves table. I put an auto filter on it to kind of like modulate like it's like kind of like a low pass filter like modulating kind of it's like cutting off the high end but it's going like whoop, whoop, whoop. Um, and how I did this right, I'll show you guys how I did from scratch so I basically opened up a auto filter um, I put the amount all the way up I brought the um, the filter down to around one a little under 1k ish I put the um, put this up a tiny bit I believe I put the rate down a little bit. Let's see, this is the same. Uh, what did I do different? Okay, I put it to the eighth, eighth note uh, rate. So that's what kind of gives it that sound. So yeah, that, I don't know, this sound with like the freaking strings, the guitar, it sounds so like kind of Cajunata-esque. It just sounds really cool. Um, also, I forgot to mention, uh, I had everything in this beat. All, so all the instruments I had running through a, I grouped all the instruments together in this sample bus right here, right? So what I did is that I freaking, to get it to the pitch I had it at, I actually ran everything through a sound shifter and put everything up by 25 cents to give it a little detuned feeling. So without this, this is how it originally sounded normally, like not detuned. So yeah, that's 
that's the original pitch I made the beat in, but like, I was like, that's cool, but I started detuning it and messing around the sound. And I got this pitch, and I thought this pitch was super dope. And also, oh yeah, I forgot to explain. Uh, so all the melody I have a uh, side chain to the kick drum. So if I don't think you guys, I don't know if you guys know this, but like when the kick hits, you kind of hear like the melody go down a little bit in the side chain. Dude. gives it like a little kind of like makes room for the kick a little bit in the mix um and then yeah so we got the little first part right here and i think the last part to explain is uh the switch up oh yeah so this i guess this would be like the chorus or the hook of the song right so um what i did here is that I freaking automated the sound shifter. How did I even do this again? I think I, okay, so if you look here, I automated the sound shifter. So it, everything goes up by plus five keys. So it transposes from two to seven. I guess I had um I don't know what I was thinking but I freaking just put like a pitch change okay I think I remember I liked both pitches so much right and I was like how do I incorporate I, I no okay I couldn't decide between the both of them right so I was like I need to, maybe I'll just incorporate both of them into the beat so I did like the first section with the, the original pitch I had that I chose and I had a second ver a second part of the beat with the pitch up version and I guess um. Uh, I guess they just looped this section because if you hear right here, it kind of goes down to the original pitch. So I guess they looped that. Um, or what happened? I'm not too sure what happened. I guess I guess maybe that's just my Ableton file. But so for the second half of the beat, if the pitch goes up here. man um i probably did a bad job explaining this but this is pretty much the beat um so yeah also i forgot to mention that um mavi had a really dope um drummers come in named ben burton who played some really cool percussion along the whole track um also they had um this female vocalist come in and do some nice harmonies throughout the whole thing it's so amazing so beautiful uh, and i just love how the song came out like i said it's one of my favorite productions so yeah, man, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Peace.